Hi Gemini, this is going to be your reading for the month of September 2018. Um, you can check your moon, Venus and rising if these messages don't resonate or if you need more information. Um, and you can fast forward past the shuffling section if you'd like to. So messages for Gemini, September. the star card as your overall energy that's a good good start wow all right some of you are meeting somebody new or you're here because you feel a strong connection with someone but so maybe you're seeing this person as laid back or that they may be taking a break from you, taking some time away from the <clears throat> relationship. Okay, sorry, I was interrupted by a phone call. So, my apologies. Um, yeah, like I said... So if you're seeing your partner as kind of maybe taking a step back from your situation. But let's clarify these cards. Yeah, some of you have met somebody new. Hmm. Three, pen three pentacles clarifying this. This could be and definitely could be a earth sign for some of you that you've met or that you're with. Oops. But it seems like some of you have met somebody who you feel you can, you know, work with. Someone who cooperates or will be meeting that kind of person. It seems like some of you attracted this type of person or will be. But some of you are still waiting for contact from someone from the past. Kind of waiting for that to come in. Yeah. So if you're waiting for contact from um, someone from the past, maybe an ex you haven't been in contact with, but some of you up here are, have um, met somebody new or will be meeting somebody new. This person could be struck, could very well be an earth sign or have earth in their chart. There's three pentacles here. Also with the eight of pentacles, we have the two of cups. It could be a water sign as well. Um, let's see. Yeah. Yep. 
seeing, seeing your ex or whoever it is you have in mind as not moving forward. <clears throat> but not there's no conflict either. They're just kind of... Um, some of you have left this person. Like very easily. Like kind of smoothly. Some of you it was effortless. But some of you, you're just seeing this person as they're just not... Um, not making any moves, but they're not, you're not arguing either, really. Kind of a very calm, very calm situation for some of you. So let's see, let's go over here, yeah. Ten of swords, ten, sorry, ten of wands twice. <clears throat> they're confused about you, though, the ex. Or whoever it is from the past, they they're confused about you. They have this um calm feeling about you, but this not so calm feeling about you. You know, the kind of back and forth when it comes to their thoughts on how they feel about you. person is thinking <clears throat> they're thinking they're putting a lot of thought into the situation but very calmly very in a mature way not so you know not thinking about you in a bad way they're just thinking about it calmly analyzing the situation calmly they want to communicate They want to, um, for some of you, this person wants to end things on a good note, if that's the case. If, if this is coming to an end, they really want it to end on a good note. They want the communication to be very sweet and calm. They don't want to argue. You know, they're in this energy right now. So what you think of them... What you're, what you're thinking of them is correct. They are very calm about the situation. But because of the in and out, like they may be in and out because of not knowing how, if they want to leave or how to leave. Let's clarify the two of swords, which I already... No, but just for the sake of it. Yeah, the sun. I didn't see the sun. I bet this is going to be contradicting. See? Contradicting. One minute they see you as the sun, the next minute it's the five of swords. But at the same time, they're really calm about the situation. Whether you know it or not, but it does look like you kind of sense that. That they're really taking it easy when it comes to the situation. They're not, not really trying to argue. But then they're seeing you as... The sun and then the five of swords. This is why they're seeing you as the two of swords. Because they kind of... One minute is this, next minute is that. Some of you have new love coming in. Somebody younger. <clears throat> the current person could be younger than you. Or you're younger than them. In the past it could have been passionate. Could have been a passionate situation. That could be why you um, are kind of taken back, some of you taken back by the fact that this person is being so calm about it, that things have just calmed down. 
but there is there is an opportunity for new love or for lo um to fix things with this person depending on on how you handle this situation because what they want is to either end things calmly i guess but there's still a chance because they still see you sometimes as the sun card so this is a chance to heal things with this person from the, someone from the past but some of you have found new love or will be finding new love could be a fire sign as well but up here we have strong strong earth okay your outcome is the nine of wands not surprised so some of you may not leave some of you may drag this along longer or it could be vice versa they may be this whole thing could be vice versa, like they could be the ones wanting to drag it on and you could be the one wanting to leave calmly. But let me just clarify this because it's looking like it's looking like it's not really gonna end fully for now. Let's see. Hmm. Some of you, it, it may. Some of you, you may finally be released. If you're the person who wants to, it to end, kind of wants to end it, something maybe to move on with someone new. You may just be able to do that, but you may come off harsh because you have the um, the Knight of Swords here. So you may come off harsh if that's. What you what you intend to do to just kind of leave this person may be hurt by that or vice versa let's see what advice we have for you Gemini engagement so like i said some of you found somebody new this new person could be your soulmate or the person from the past children you could have kids with a person from the past but attraction definitely a lot of you have met somebody new or are meet, gonna meet somebody new you're gonna see that person that you find really attractive this this new person could be your soulmate they could like if you have kids from a previous relationship or marriage, they could see it as a burden in the beginning. Not not like like they may get used to it. They may have it may be someone who's never been with someone who has kids before. For some of you, because this is general. So just keep that in mind. They could be, it could be that they've never been with somebody who's had, who's had kid, who has kids, who that they don't have kids, or it could be that they have kids and you feel burdened by it in the beginning, maybe wondering like, should I try this out? Let's see what advice we have from the goddess guidance, Gemini. September 2018. So there's definitely the soulmate connection with this. If you meet somebody who has Earth in their chart, definitely a soulmate connection. infinite supply your supply for today and all of your tomorrows
feel like that's for those of you who want to move on. You are a channel for divine healing power. If you're on one of the people who your partner wants to move on, you can handle it, I feel. Stop worrying. Everything is going to be fine. And that's your advice, if that's the case. Keep your unwavering thoughts, feelings, and actions. Focus on your target and you will make your mark. So if you want new love, or you want your partner back, you want to change how they see you, which is kind of back and forth. One minute they see you as a son, the next minute they see you as a, like the five of swords. If you want to change that, you can. Well, with the with manifestation, I guess, if you think positive about the situation. But for now, it seems like it's just with with a past partner. Those you those of you dealing with a past partner, it seems like it's on the rocks, but in a calm way, not in a not in a way where you're just fighting all the time. But it's definitely on the rocks for those people. But then, for those people and people who are completely single, you could have somebody new coming in an Earth sign. Or someone who has earth in their chart or fire in their chart or it could be any sign but or water yeah any sign but definitely look out for somebody new coming in to your life because that's very possible here and just keep in mind this new person could be a soulmate there could be engagement with this new person. Obviously not right away when you just meet them, but you know, potential. You could see them as a potential spouse. Um, some of you who've met that person already, it could be that you see them as a potential spouse and you want to release your ex because your ex isn't serving you anymore. It could be anything here. But definitely there's new love and there is a situation with somebody from the past. Either you want to release them, they want to, they want to release you. But that can be changed if you really want it to change because they still see you as the sun. They still, they still see, see you in a good light sometimes on some days. So you can change that for the better if you want to or you can move forward to something new. Okay, so Gemini, that was your reading for the month of September. Uh, let me know if it resonates with you. Um, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. And check your moon, Venus, and rising. If this didn't resonate with you all the way or you want more insight on your month. So I hope you enjoyed and thank you for watching.